April Clark, your registered dietitian at the Food Allergy Center at Children's Medical Center Dallas. And I'm Chris Hensel, the executive chef at Children's Medical Center Dallas. And today we're going to show you some interesting, fun ways to cook allergy free meals. We know that families with food allergies have a challenge cooking meals for their children. So today we're going to show you a recipe that's free of the top eight allergens, which include milk, egg, wheat, soy, peanut, tree nut, fish, and shellfish. So what are we going to make today, Chris? Today we're going to make Asian chicken stir fry. All right, let's get started. Great. And the ingredients are olive oil, extra virgin, diced yellow onion, minced garlic, sea salt, cracked black pepper, sweet chili sauce, fresh grapefruit juice from half a grapefruit, ginger puree or fresh ginger, dark chicken meat, broccoli florets, sliced carrot, asparagus, and jasmine rice. We're going to start by making our marinade for our chicken first. We'll get the pan heated up. Could you have that bowl over there, please? Sure. It's a simple marinade, and we're going to start with fresh ruby red Texas grapefruit. Use about half of one of those. Suggest through a sieve, keep the seeds out. Pulp is fine. Now, Chris, we could, would this work with any citrus, or is grapefruit the preferred citrus fruit that you would want to use for this marinade? Any citrus would work. Oranges okay. are great. Limes and lemons are a little bit too acidy for this, but, you know, a good citrus is fine. Okay. I've pureed some fresh ginger. We're going to use about a teaspoon of that, a little bit more, because we're making a good amount. And sweet chili sauce. Could you have me the sweet chili sauce, please? Sure can. This is used in a lot of Asian dishes, and it's, it'll add a nice flavor to a chicken today. Seafood, it's great. Shrimp. I've already chopped up the chicken. Today we're using a dark chicken thigh meat, and you can also use a chicken breast if you'd like, but the, the dark meat will add a little bit more flavor. So. The dark meat also adds more fat too, Chris, for those kids who are having a hard time growing really? when they have so many food restrictions, right? So we're just gonna stir that up real quick. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, and a little bit of pepper to this, and then we're gonna move over to the pan. It's heating up right now, we want it good and hot. If you have a wok at home, that actually helps really good. I use sea salt, so just a little bit of sea salt around there just to help bring out the flavor a little bit more. A little cracked black pepper. And then we will toss that up just a little bit and set that aside for just a second. We're gonna start by heating up our pan, like I said. If you put your hand over, you can kind of feel it radiating the heat. Give it a good amount of olive oil. We're gonna let that just come up just a little bit. You don't wanna smoke it too much. And then we're going to start by sauteing a small diced onion, yellow onion. Certain times of the year, you're gonna have sweet onions come out. I recommend doing that. So we want to just get this going for just a couple of minutes, just to start the caramelizing going. And then we're going to add about a tablespoon of garlic. Garlic's great. And then once we saute this down a little bit and the onions caramelize, we will add our chicken in there, get our vegetables going. So while this caramelizes just a little bit, I'm going to Cut up our vegetables. Would you set that over there, please? Sure can. So we have fresh carrots. We just want to peel those up good. So Chris, could you pretty much use any vegetable choice in this recipe? Any vegetable. If you've got a garden, this is the time to show it off. Just bring out whatever you have. So we want to just get that in there. Cut off our ends. Depending on how thick your carrots are, depends on how you know, thin you want to cut it. So today we'll just do it kind of an Asian style and we'll cut that up. And we're also going to throw in some asparagus. Come back over here and just give that a little shake. And you can see that's starting to caramelize a little bit. The colors are starting to change light brown. That's perfect. We're going to add our chicken in at this point. It smells delicious. 
So we're going to let that cook down until the, all the chicken is brown. So we'll keep that going. We're going to come back over here. You can see the difference in the ends. You've got the white in here about an inch in. We want to get rid of that because at the, it's very rooty. So it'll add kind of a, a, too much of a bite to it. Some people like it, but I suggest no. Okay, so we're going to take all that end off. And we're going to cut these in approximately one inch pieces, okay? So the tips, and if that's all you like, stop there and throw those in. But today we're going to throw the rest in. Now you're still going to have some pieces that will get wider and more woody as you go up. So just kind of pull those out. And then we have chopped some broccoli into small florets. So those will go in at the very end. So we can just quickly just saute those up. They'll blanch. They'll be done. We'll serve it. So this dish probably will take you about a half an hour total start to finish. Wow, that's pretty fast. Yeah. Right? All right. Our chicken is cooking. Almost done. And we'll get our carrots in. And I'll cut up this last carrot real quick. And away we go. All right, pea pods are great in this. Water chestnuts are great if you like bamboo shoots. Any of those. Now, for my families who are limited on time, could they use like a frozen vegetable blend or something like that in this recipe? Yes. So we just have to watch. The fresher we can get it, the better, obviously. Right. So the sodium levels and things. Right. And we're just going to let that cook just for a little bit. We will add our broccoli and our sweet chili sauce to finish it off and we will be good to go. And I'll do the final thing here. And away we go. What I love about this recipe, Chris, is just that there's so much flexibility. If you have a picky eater or you have sensitivities to certain vegetables, you can just substitute almost anything that your child likes into this recipe. Right, and if your child doesn't really like chicken and they would like steak, throw in some steak. If you don't want to do meat, it can be great on all vegetables. So yeah. this sweet chili sauce goes with an amazing array of things. If you want any kind of fish, if, you don't, if that's your allergy, don't go there. Made up just a nice jasmine rice, steamed it up. We're going to serve that out, just a little portion, and we're going to be good to go.